Hi, this is Christy Robinette of ChristyRobinette.com, and today is Wednesday, November 12th. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about gifts and how we each have our own unique gift. Sometimes it's not unwrapped yet. Sometimes you might still have to explore that gift. Most of the time, though, you have it, and you're just not giving yourself credit for it. It doesn't mean that you need to have the notoriety, you don't need a television show, you don't need a CD, you don't need a, um, a book out on the shelf to give you the accolades that you have that gift. It, but it's just utilizing it. And a lot of time there is a misconception that the gift that you have is supposed to be utilized as your Monday through Friday eight to five job. And that's not necessarily the truth either. Um, people that sometimes utilize their 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 gift in a constant way they get burned out and then they really get lost so I'm hoping that this month the month of November the rest of November that you look at an opportunity to explore what your gift might be um, you may not know it yet you may have put it away you may feel um, that you're not good enough and that is, you know, I think that oftentimes we do, we look at the people that are in television and we put them up on a pedestal and say, they're the best of the best, you know, or the book that you see at Target, well, wow, they're the best writer ever because they have a book at Target. Or, you know, the songwriter, they have a CD out, so they're the best of the best. That's not necessarily the truth. There's a lot of people in the background. There's a lot of people that, that don't want that exposure. And there's a lot of people that haven't yet received those accolades and that oftentimes is you and I and, and our best friends and all of that so it doesn't necessarily equate to that small very minority group that has received that um, special I don't know if it's special or not um, sort of notoriety that that equates to you know well they've already got that sector of their gift does that make sense so if you see a chef at a fancy restaurant and you're a great cook too do you say boy I guess I suck at being a cook because or a chef because I'm not that person that's really really you know a, a negative way of looking at it and are you giving up because you're afraid that that spots already taken so you never can you know have that spot you can make paths you know in order to get to the place where you want to get so don't put that gift away out of frustration. Tomorrow is my birthday. Yay. Lucky 4-4 four, four for me. It's also my dad's birthday. I was I was born on his birthday. I was born on actually a Friday the 13th under a full moon. As if that's not um, an, an indication of what I was going to do for a living or what my gift was going to be, right? Um, and it was kind of cute. My sister came and gave me a, a birthday gift yesterday, which I love. Thank you. And she brought my dad a cake. So... This morning, my dad comes up and he's like, we're all good with cake. We're good with cake. We don't need any cake. We're good with cake. And I'm like, we're good with cake, apparently. And I'm like, well, what kind of cake? Um, he said, well, Sherry, my sister, brought us a cake. Probably him a cake, not me a cake, but that's okay. And um, it's lemon. And I went, I don't really like lemon, Dad. He goes, but we have cake. So apparently I'm not allowed to have another cake because we have cake. So um, that's the interesting thing is although he's the parent, I sometimes feel like I've sacrificed my birthday um, because of what he wants. We tend to go to dinner where he wants to go. Um, in fact, tomorrow we'll be at Red Robin because that's where he wants to go for fish and chips. And I'm okay with that. I, I really am. I, I joke and say that I've, I haven't had that birthday except for my 40th. I did say, Dad, this is, I'm going to make this, you know, my day. Chuck's giving me a party. And, um, he pouted the whole time. So, fathers. So, I hope that you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of the week. And remember that I believe in you and use your gift. Discover your gift.